I just feel like I just want to share some more. You know, God wants to be Lord of everything of our life. Maybe we'll visit that a little bit later. You can actually be seated. Let me just share for a few moments. And then, I don't know what God's doing on Sunday nights, but I like what God is doing. I like the Spirit. Um, it just feels like God's drawing us closer. And I want that. But you know, God desires to be Lord of our life. Not just Savior, but Lord. What does it mean to trust Him as our Savior and accept Him, but then there's that of going forward. He's not only but my Savior, but He's my Lord, Lordship. That He is Lord of everything. Is He Lord of every area of our life? Amen. That we can say, God, I do trust You in this area because You're not only my Savior, but You're my Lord. And God, You're reigning in these areas of my life. Whatever they are, whether they're areas that are areas that we step out in faith and we trust God, or they're, whether they're areas that we are battling and wrestling with, whether it be spiritual battles or whether it be things that we want to see growth in our life, and we should be setting up goals and priorities and things in our life to grow. You know, we don't want to come to the end of our life and just... I've lived it haphazardly, but knowing that God has given us the gift of life, we want to make sure that we utilize every moment for His kingdom. Um, use it, building the kingdom of God and uh, becoming the, the, the man or the woman that God desires for each of us to be. And in Psalms 139, when we were singing that, it just felt like the presence of God was reminding me and it was sensing even for us as a body that He knows us. He knows where we're at. And uh, he said, the, the psalmist said, You have searched me and, and you have known me. Amen. Don't you love that even though God searches and God does search, He searches, He tries. We'll talk more about that in a few a moments. This is not what I intended to preach tonight. I'm tend to preach something different, but let's, let's just look at the Word for a few moments. David said, you have searched me and you have known me. Thank God that He takes us and He searches us and He knows us. Even the areas of our life where we've utterly failed the, the holiness of God, amen, I'm glad that He's able to take our boat, broken bones, and as David said, He's able to make them rejoice, amen, He's the God of our salvation. He searches us and He tries us. So thank God for those moments like right now where the presence of God is here and He's searching us and trying us. He's saying, I see you. I know you. I said uh, last Sunday morning to the little girl that her mom, I said to her, uh, uh, daughter, you went to Sunday school this morning. What did you learn? And, and, and her mother wasn't a believer. And, and, and she said, oh, I learned how God, He watches over me all and her mom says, oh, honey, doesn't that seem a little bit creepy that God would always be watching you? She said, oh, no, mama. God loves me so much he can't take his eyes off me. Amen. So he has searched us. He's watching us. He knows us. Amen. The Bible says, you know, my down sitting and my uprising. Do you know that even in the service, I don't even know how many times I've sat down, how many times I've stood up, amen, made that movement. But you know God has seen every movement of my down sitting and my uprising, not only mine, but yours. Talk about a God who is so meticulous with the details of our life. I mean, even the, 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 the New Testament, we're reminded that all the hairs of our head are numbered. Uh, he knows us, amen, our down sittings and our uprising. And then he's said, you understand my thoughts afar off. Amen. How many have ever said you wouldn't want to be here? You wouldn't want to ever get up here. You know what? Your, your spouse may not. Your children may not. No one else may not. But God already is. He's already in your mind as it is working and thinking. And He's in there and He understands. He understands what makes you tick. He understands what brings the emotions of laughter, the, the, the emotions of sadness and tears. He knows all about that. He, he understands that. Uh, uh, he, 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 he understands why you're 
contemplating what you're contemplating. He understands. And when we are godly and we're wanting to do His will, He understands why we are going through all that checklist in our brain. The Bible says that He knows our thoughts. I'm glad that God is a searching and a trying God of the heart. He finds out so much. Sometimes He tries us just to find out what the heart's made out of because the mind and the heart doesn't always collaborate. David goes on down to say, You compass my path and my lying down. And you are, and you are acquainted with all my ways. No, when he uses the word thou compasseth, another word that can be used in our English terminology for this isn't just compasses, but he scrutinizes. He scrutinizes my path. Aren't you glad that God sees the path that you're going? Amen. He knows that that path, and I said about it this morning, I said just because we stole away to our secret place doesn't mean that we will be uh, in that dark secret place will be kept from, from all the trials of this life. Daniel and, and, and Jesus themselves are examples of men going away. Jesus went a little bit farther in the Garden of Gethsemane. Farther than his disciples. Brother David, they couldn't watch and pray with him even for an hour. Uh, Jesus went farther. And Daniel, he closed his doors, but Sister Beth, he opened his window, but the enemy knew where he was. And so one of two things happens. God will either keep the lion's mouth shut in the den, or else God will take our sacrifice to bring salvation. So he's scrutinizing our path. There is nothing that's going to happen to you that God has not allowed to happen in your path. You've got to trust Him with it. He's already scrutinized it. You think you scrutinize your life and you're making all your thoughts and be in alignment with where you're going when we're doing it God's way and God allows things to happen in our path. God has already scrutinized our path. He knows about us. Amen. Is that encouraging tonight to us? Brother David, God already knows that you have those hours of vacation. It is not such a, a great big obstacle to him to keep those hours they can be left over in October. God can do that. Amen. God can take whatever our needs are. He took loaves and fishes and he multiplied them where it didn't seem like there would even be enough to where there were leftovers. Amen. God already scrutinizes the path. He's going to take care of us when we walk in his way. And David said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his way. And though he fall. They're not gonna, he's not going to utterly be cast down and destroyed. Amen. And God's going to take care of him. So he knows tonight. And he says he's acquainted with all my ways. Amen. He inspects. He sees. For there is not a word in my mouth, but, O oh Lord, thou knowest it all together. You know, God knows every word that we speak. Every idle word, whether we think it's in secret or in private, God says it. And God, God knows what those words are. And, and I like what Matthew Henry says about this. He said whether it's spoken or whether it's unspoken, those times that we don't speak it, but it is in our time, God knows it. He said, you have beset me behind and before, and you've laid your hand upon me. You know what that word beset means? This is a good word. Listen to this tonight. That word beset means guard. God is guarding you from behind and before. So that means nothing in front of you can get you. God is your guard. And there's nothing in the past that can get you from behind and attack you. The enemy fights cruel. But God has beset he is guarding us from the front and from the back. He is taking care of us. Amen. The Word of God says, David goes on, Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. You see, because God has this infinite intelligence and our minds can't even begin to compute everything that is in this infinite uh, 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 mind of God. Amen. Uh, that, that, that He is able to do that. 
that, uh, that, that, that seems impossible, he's able to drive it possible into the realm of impossible. Amen. He, such knowledge is, it's so great. Amen. Uh, he has us. Amen. God's being is with us and around us. And as a child of God, when we've accepted him as our Savior and we're allowing him lordship of our life, that means that he is Lord of it. Whether we like the path we go down or whether we don't, amen, God, we trust you that you are Lord in this situation and you're going to help us. Amen. He said, whether shall I go, where shall I go from thy spirit or whether, where shall I, whether shall I flee from your presence? Uh, there is no getting away from God. Uh, I mean, even the, the darkest uh, uh, dark, uh, the, there's no getting away from God. He said, if I ascend up into heaven, you are there. And if I make my bed in hell, you are there. And I, 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 we are not looking at this uh, per, uh, in such a way that we're looking at hell being hell. We're looking at burying ourselves under the ground. We're looking at going up in the sky. There's no getting away from God. He's there. So, uh, Sister Linda, when you travel and when you go for your CAT scan, you can't get away from God. He's there. So, so we trust Him in this moment for all that. And, 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 and wherever any of us are, we can trust God that He is God. He said, if, uh, uh, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Uh, Sister Holly said tonight, Jesus hold my hand. Or this morning one, we said that today. Uh, uh, we're, I'm glad that He holds our hand. Even if we go uh, out in the sea, the, the furthest part where we can't see land, uh, God is still there uh, where there's no getting away from Him. Amen. How awesome is that? If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hides not, for, uh, hides not from you, but the night shines as the day of the darkness and the, and the light are both alike unto you. What's he saying? You know, sometimes by the day when it's dark, you know, there is that of just a, 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 a covering of wondering, you know, how many times I can the way of the night darkness be said. I don't like that. You know, Brother Craig, that, that heaviness of darkness. Or when do robbers do their best work? Now, I know they do it in the daylight too, but more often than not, they like the night. But you know what? God doesn't see night and day in our different. He sees us as clearly at nighttime as He sees us in the daytime. Just because in our world we live in darkness, doesn't mean that it affects the eyes of God. They're always everywhere beholding the good and the evil. Amen. The Lord's eyes are upon us and He keeps us as the apple of His eye when He's not only Savior, but He's Lord. Amen. He said, you have possessed my reins. You've covered me in your, my mother's womb. He said, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, marvelous are your works, and my soul knoweth the right will. My substance was not hid from you when I was made in secret, curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. You know what? You have never been hidden from God, even before your mom and dad got to see you. I know technology is amazing. I love these the 3 and 4D ultrasounds. They just got the probe whenever our girls were born, and we got to see them, and got to see their what their little noses look like, their faces. I mean, Brother David, it was amazing to be able to look. But 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 you know, I, I'm only getting a little bit of a glimpse into the womb. God knew all the details of everything for every one of us in the womb, and if He worked the details out then, He is still working the details out now. Amen. He said, David goes on to say, Your eyes did not hide my substance, yet being unperfect, and in my book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. Even when we weren't even completely there, all of our fingers, all of our, 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 our 
extremities, uh, those chambers of our hearts, uh, those chambers in our minds, our, uh, you know, all of our organs in our body. Amen. Uh, they are, even before they all were, though, David, God was keeping a record of it. You see, because God already was scheduling all your days, it's hard to imagine that back in, in whatever year you were born, whether it's uh, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, uh, wherever it was, amen, God was already there, and He was already scheduling the details of your life, amen, knowing that you made a choice to allow Him to be Lord of all. So He chose that you would be a miracle revival church here uh, 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 on this Sunday. He already knows what is the details of your summer. He already knows what is the details of our winter. He already has it all scheduled, amen. He's taking care of us. Amen. Do you believe that tonight? Because if we do, we would trust Him with our finances and with our health and with our family and with uh, all the things of our life. God already had it scheduled. Even before you were, God was already scheduling it. He's taking care of it. He's thinking about you. Amen. Amen. How amazing tonight that God would do that. David went on down to say, How precious are your thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of it. Do you know that God continually thinks about us? He sees the words in our tongue. He sees the thoughts in our brain. Amen. He sees the blink of our eye, and the, the moving of our arms, the state of the city, everything about us. It would, it would take a huge elaborate and document all that. Amen. How great is the sum of God's thoughts toward us? That's how much God loves you. So if you're struggling with Lordship, allowing Him to be Lord, you can say, I've accepted Him as my Savior. But there's a lot more than just being your Savior. It's being your Lord. Are you trusting Him with the Lordship of the details of your life? No one else thinks about you that much. Even if you're a little bit narcissistic, uh, you probably don't even think about yourself as much as God thinks about you. He said, if I should count them, they are more in number than the sands. When I awake, I am still with you. Amen. David said, I can count them. When I wake up, I'm still with you. I just want to say in your ears tonight. God's crazy about you. That God sees you. That God knows you. So if you aren't at that place in your life yet where you've given Him Lordship, move the honor of Him being your Savior. And trust Him to be the Lord of every perfect of your life. We can trust Him. We can trust Him, Brother Dave. You know how you said there's some friends, there's some folks I would never tell because they could never bear. And there's some folks that they think that they would have all the answers in the world to fix it for them, for me. And I don't want their answers. I don't want their fixes. Simply, what I want is just for God to continue to show me His thoughts and His love and His worship to me. So God is Lord of my life. I may not like everything that I have to do or go through, but even though I don't like Him, I can trust Him that He's still Lord of it. Rachel, so your friend who was killed, I have mutual friends that were very good friends of Zach Williams with the Bible school. I don't like what happened. It, in my eyes, seems like an injustice and unfair. But it doesn't matter what I think. God is still Lord. God is Lord of Zach like He's never been. And God will be Lord of that new wife. 
That's the Lord. I don't have to like every Wednesday around the cancer center, and, and I really hate cancer. I hate things that I think could cause cancer. I hate that, 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 that we add things to our food that shouldn't be added and we spray things just, just to produce a bumper crop. I hate all that stuff. I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying I, I hate things that, that I think could lead to cancer. But you know what? I have to trust God with every person that's in there. Amen. That God is still Lord even when I hate this horrific disease. God's still Lord. He's still Lord. He's still Lord of the cancer victim. He's still Lord of all the families that's processing this. He's still Lord of... He's still Lord. God is still Lord of the widow. God is still Lord of the orphan. God is still a Lord of, of the parent of the broken heart. God is still Lord. God is still Lord of the one who has so much money they don't know what to do with it. But God is still Lord of the one that is so impoverished. God is still Lord. And we have to trust Him with the Lordship of our life. Amen. Whether in health or whether in sickness, whether in life or whether in death, God is still Lord. When you turn to the book of Romans, Romans chapter number 14, the Word of God says this. Let me find the verse I want to look at. For whether we live or whether we die unto the Lord, uh, whether we die or whether, whether we live or whether we, whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. Trust in Him with all the details. My challenge to you tonight is do you trust Him? Do you trust God? Even when you don't like it, do you trust God? Even when you don't understand it, do you trust God? Is He Lord of your life? Is He Lord? says, O oh Lord, you have searched me and know me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandeth my thoughts are far off. I can pass with my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. There is not a word in my tongue, but O oh Lord, thou knowest it all to Thou hast set me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Or whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, behold, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there thy hand shall lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say the darkness shall surely cover me and the night shall be light about me, yea, the darkness and the light hide not from, from thee, but the, the night shineth as the day and the darkness as, as, as uh, and light are both alike unto thee. You have possessed my reins. You have covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth the right will. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in, the, uh, in, in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in my book were all my members written, when as yet there were... Uh, uh, when, which, which it continues for fashion, when as yet there was none of them. How precious are your thoughts unto me, O Lord! 
How great is the sum of them, if I should count them. They are more in number than the sands of the sea. When I awake, I am still with you. Amen. Tonight, I want you to know that God knows your name. He knows where you are. He can see your weariness. He can see your tiredness. He can see your laughter and your excitement. He's with you in it all. God is with you. Have you trusted him to be more than a savior? Have you trusted him with lordship? If you have, you can trust him with all the details of your life. Tonight, would you get around in a place of prayer? And would you allow God that knows all about you, amen, to reveal his loving thoughts 